Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today's project, we're going to build the shadow box. We have a scene on the front and a different scene on the back which casts a shadow on the back wall. Uh, it's real easy to make. It's a simple box with a little light inside. We're going to scroll saw some. Just wanted to give you an idea of something you might like to do. Uh, I hope you enjoy today's project. I bought a pack of 10 of uh, these quarter inch um, scroll saw sheets from Woodcrafts. They come in a pack of 10 and it says they're 10 inches. I just wanted to make sure that they do size up 10 by 10 and that they are um, square. And they are good and square. I've got a ton of scrap wood that I'm going to try to use up some of this. I've got some here. I've got a bunch over here. Some down here. A stack over here. And under my workbench here. I've come to the conclusion that today I just realized that yes, I am a wood hoarder. With those pieces being 10 inches long and wide, I'm going to cut these pieces about 12 inches a piece. With a scrap piece of plywood and a clamp, I've just measured off to 12 inches and made a stop block to where I can cut each piece at 12 inches and just continuously cut them so they'll all be the same size. Might better save that piece. Now with these sheets being a quarter inch thick, what I want to do is just raise the blade up to match the height of that quarter inch, just so that's right at the tip of it. That way whenever I cut my dado in the center here, that it's going to line up and it's going to fit that quarter inch in the middle of the board that I cut. Now that I have the dado, that should fit. Pretty snug inside there. A little bit of glue will help too, but that will be the, the joint. kind of give you an idea of what I'm trying to do and fit these two in here so you'll have one side and they'll actually sit inside the middle up some but here again I'm gonna have to cut the inside of this as well to make the dados for the second sleeve here the front and the back is cut now I need to cut the two sides it would be here in here. do a dry fit to make sure it all comes together right. The reason I only cut four pieces at 12 inches long is because once we cut all four of those pieces, and then insert the um, plywood into the dado, it's gonna shorten up the distance between the inside. So what I wanna do to get that measurement is measure it while it's together. 
to get the measurements I want to cut the top and the bottom and I'll need four for the top and four for the bottom. Another keeper. So what I want to do is line up the top piece, make sure it's flush on the top and all the way up as far as I want it to be. Then I'm going to draw a pencil line on this side. So I know underneath that line is where I want my dado for the top. All right, now that I got the four dados in the top cut, let's see if it fits. I cut it a little bit long on the line. That's why that gap's there, but you'll never see that because that's going to be the inside of the box. But it fits pretty good, and it's good and flush on the top and the sides. Now it's time for the fun part. This is what I most enjoy is my scroll saw. What I've done, I print off some patterns. I'll take the patterns, glue adhesive them down to the quarter inch plywood 10 by 10 pieces. Then I'll drill my holes and scroll out the pattern that I want for my templates. I went down to Hobby Lobby and I picked up this little $3 switch, light switch. It's a plug with a little switch and the light on it. I'm going to cut a beam from the inside and mount this on the inside for the light. enjoyed today's project if you did give it a good like right here on the bottom and just subscribe to my channel I'd love to have you to join in each week as I put out videos uh, a couple of things I may do a little different on this one next time uh, I may put another uh, top on the top of this because uh, it is open but um, I think with the top on it would kind of help catch the shadow a little bit more I'm also going to drill some holes and put some screws in and then fill the hole with some uh, probably walnut just to give it a little highlight on the sides to help hold it together. It's just going to sit on the table, so uh, it should be fine. But I uh, hope you like today's project. Please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say. Anything you'd like to see, any comments, outbursts, emotional outcries, let me know. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next week.